Uh, let it grow 11 now for something completely different. We're going to search for something that's in an array. We're going to look through an array and find certain items. So the instruction here says using ARNUM and ARNAMES, names, we know those are parallel arrays, we're going to count and display all numbers greater than 80 and display in the rich edit with the usernames of each number. So we want to we want to display only the names and the numbers of all uh, um, uh, numbers that are greater than 80. So we're going to display things from both arrays, error num and error names, but we're going to search through error num. And we know they're parallel arrays. So how are we going to search? Well, we're going to go through every single box. Why? Because we want to find out all the numbers that are greater than 80. So if I'm going to go through every single box, I'm going to use a for loop. For k equals 1, 2, r count, a or r, do, begin and end. Now we're going to ask question, if a or num, box number k, if that's greater than 80, and that is the number that we want, is it? Yep, greater than 80. Then we're going to display red arrays dot lines dot add int to string or num box number k and join that to a space and error names box number k so we're only doing one thing if we find it greater than if we find error num greater than 80, we are displaying in the rich edit the item from error num plus the space plus the corresponding error names content. Because remember these two arrays are parallel. So whatever's in box number one matches that in box number one of the other array. Whatever's in box number two of error num is got a matching name in error names box number two and so on. Right, so let's go and display this. You can see, or run it, should I say. And remember, because all these other things have to be done first, we have to click the other buttons first. And I'm not going to sort, I'm just going to go straight here. There it is. There are the numbers greater than 80. I could have sorted first, okay, there I'm sorting, and then I'm going to display as you can see, it's now displaying the numbers greater than 80 and the corresponding usernames or email addresses from AR names. Okay, we've already done sorting and we're searching. Now we're going to do this last button for arrays. The user must enter a username in an input box and then we're going to search for that username in error names and count and display how many times this username occurs in error names. We're going to go and search through error names now for a username. <coughs> right, so we have to go and ask the user to enter a username from an input box. Enter and email address isn't it? Now we want to go through the whole array called error names. Well, <coughs> we want to go through every single box of the array for the simple reason, yeah, we want to find out all the, where, how many how many they are. We're going to count how many they are. So if you're going to count, you need to count it, eh? Our num. I've got my counter there. Our num equals to naught. Start off with. <coughs> and then we're going to say if error names square brackets k equals s name from the input box, okay, then we'll increment our counter. Uh, not, sorry. 
<laughs> and that's it. We're going to go through every single box there. <clears throat> and then all we do then is display. Dot lines, dot add. Oh, no. I think that's what they want us to do. Yep. Username input box, username search count and display how many times this username occurs in error names. So there it is. <coughs> we incremented a counter each time we find a match. Simple. Going through every single box. <coughs> now, in order to get the right, I'm going to say linewoods at gmail.com. Run the program. <coughs> Line dot woods. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, I cannot use uppercase. <clears throat> now, line woods doesn't actually match because it's line dot woods at gmail. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, <clears throat> line woods at gmail dot com. <clears throat> oh, the reason why it didn't work is because I never clicked the other buttons. If I remember, we have to click all these other buttons first. Okay. Right, lion. Dot words at gmail.com. We have to click the other buttons to fill the array, so it says it occurs 11 times. Yep, and we can even check that to see. Um, if I go and I sorted error number from smallest to highest, uh, uh, nine words there, we go. one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. So, that was a very simple little program. Searching through an array. If we wanted to search and stop as soon as we find a name, then we'd use a while loop. But we, in this case, we're not going to do that. We can do that in the ne another exercise next time. So. Don't forget to do your activity for marks and I'll see you again.